All right, what's poppin', y'all? We're here with another tier list. This was gonna be Breaking of Kings season one characters. Now, the way I'm gonna do this is gonna be a little different, right? I'm gonna start doing, trying to do tier lists at each season. So since I just fi finished uh, season one on Breaking of Kings, I'm gonna rate, rank them. And then by the time season two comes out and I finish that, I'm probably, oh, I'm probably gonna come back here, gonna change characters around, or just add characters you know what i'm saying and that's how i'm going to try to go about it now you can see the tears you can see the tears right the way i'm going to be ranking these characters is going to be based off their personality right so basically well their character so basically their personality their values how they uphold those values and their accomplishments so what they've done in the story what they've been shown that they could do Stuff like that, flashbacks, all that, right? And obviously this is a tier list, so it's gonna be biased, right? If you ask me on a different day, stuff might be different, right? I wanna know you got your guys' opinions, so go ahead and put them in the comments. One last thing. So obviously, LOL tier, bottom, like why are you in the show tier, right? Goaded, Goaded is a little different, right? Goaded is basically S tier characters that did something goaded. So something that significantly impacted the show or just changed every character or most characters or something that no other character could do. You know what I'm saying? This is a lot of tears, though. Should I? I think I should delete some shit. Hold on. Hold on. S tier. I got to delete some shit. Nah, there's a lot of characters. We'll keep it this way. We'll keep it this way. We'll, we'll change it if we need to. We'll change it if we need to. All right. So we're starting off with Black. What's your name? Hold on. Hold on. Let me let me do my research. I already did my. Research. I read y'all. I read about all these characters in depth. Check it. Black the brunette assassin. Nigga sucks, bro. Like, like, he doesn't do anything. <laughs> he sucks. Like there's no. Like he just he just tries to fight. He's just he's a mess. He's a me you know where's your friend? Where's your buddy? There you go. Bam. All right, we're done with that. I forgot about you. What's your name? Gigan? Gigan? Gigan had a backstory I wasn't expecting. Right? Trying to help Desha and Despa and Oaken take over their father's heinous reign, or at least fight his army, whatever. Gigan was on their side. He was a good guy. All. It, what's crazy is Despa's father was already had an army of all those troll people or whatever, right? That's why they used the baby to bait them all out and kill them all. Light them all fire, right? They did that? Crazy. But they had to do what they had to do. It's war. Gigan. I feel like I'm... Am I saying his name right? Yeah, Gigan. <sighs> He like, he was different from them already. Like, bro, I got to be on the good guy's side. So he was a good guy from the start. But then after they did what they did, oh my goodness, had to body all of them. And even Des... I always confuse their name, Despa. Desha. Even Desha was like, you can join my army. After everything that happens, like, you can join my army. He was a good guy. He's a good guy. And he's he's strong, like he, but he hasn't accomplished much. But he's a good guy, right? Even bowed to Boji after he was defeated. You know how much humility? That's something you got to be so respectful to do, right? He got up, he and he bowed to Boji, and then became friends with him. From enemies to lovers, that's a little weird. From enemies to friends. A tier, bro. Arps. A tier. You, cause you didn't do shit. But I really like you as a character. You strong, like you. You're strong, like you. You did. You're obviously strong. You know what I mean. So I'm not gonna put you in like the weakling category. Like B is like if Gigan was like weak. Like if, if Black here had the same story as him. I don't think 
this guy is as strong as Gigan. You know what I mean? Oh man, what the fuck is your name? Sorry, it's been a minute. I've, I haven't watched the show in weeks. I, rec I recorded it a long time ago. King Bo. Crazy, actually. Because his father... Oh, man. His father went crazy, kid, everybody. But he he's strong, obviously. It seems like him... He might be the strongest, right? Because Api said he sensed a great energy coming from this guy and... These two? I don't think. No, I just remember. Maybe from King Bo and uh, Gigan. Oh, right here it says that he shows a glimpse of how strong he is when he bullies the other convicts to claim Boss's throne, but is cut down by Oaken almost immediately after slowing. But, oh, like, I don't know why they didn't put this here. It slowly bleeds out and just show how. Yeah, but like, he still bodied him in the end, Oaken, right? Or. Yeah, he bodied Oaken. He threw his head in the river and shit. I don't know what's going on with that. How he came back. Apparently, he's healed. Maybe someone healed him. Oh, yeah, because he was about to die, but Bebin saved him, right? Crazy. You're strong, though, but, like, I don't really like your character. You're B. Oh, no, I, I forgot to move you back up. Do you? Nah, you're better than this guy. But he's strong. Whatever, we'll, 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 you know, we'll move him around, we'll move him around. Mitsumata. <sighs> Mitsumata is tough. He saved Queen Healing and them from the beasts, but he keeps getting bodied. Did he get bodied by Gigan? Oh yeah, Gigan's A tier, yeah. <laughs> Mitsumata, he saves getting bodied, bro. Even when he was big, I feel like. But he does save people, he looks out for him. He trained Boji. Let's not play with that. Which is very interesting because Bebin had to have known because he he mentions that one day Boji might have to save Dida or something like that. He hints at it. So he had to have known that Boji was getting training from Mitsumata. Bebin also does a lot of other shadow things where like he he had he's the most loyal to Boji. Because no matter what, he always looked out for Boji despite training Dida. Right? He did his best best to teach Dida. But he also like sent Kage after Boji. And also gave him a letter so he could be trained by Despot. That's goaded shit. Are you kidding me? He sees Kage sends them to Despot? He's the only reason Boji's on this level, bro. Including Possibly having him trained by Mitsumata so Boji isn't completely useless, you know, at, when he was even younger. And he trained Dida, which Dida was already a beast before he was taken over uh, by a uh, boss. Bebbit's goaded. He, oh, he was always loyal. He did try to kill IPs because Dida ordered him to. You know what I mean? But, like, that's an order. It's tough. They didn't even say any words. They got straight to scrapping. That shit fire. Wait, did I mention about S tier and Goaded? I did, right? Hopefully I edit this out. I probably won't. S tier, if they're an S tier character, they're going S tier. But if they did something Goaded to... Wait, I think I... Yeah, I did I did say all that. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. <sighs> Me too, just... I feel like... Why do I feel like he's, he got his ass beat a lot of times? Why do I feel like that? He got bodied by Gigan. I, I'm not gonna count him as when he was a baby snake. That's not fair. He just sounds, I don't know, the way he talks about it. You just sad, huh? <sighs> but I can't put him, I gotta put him in Esther, right? Cause again, he fought the beasts that even Dorsha, Dorsha, was having trouble with and I like his character he's a nice guy like he's loyal to those who helped him like extremely loyal I'll do that I feel weird putting him above Gigan he says Gigan bodied him but I think his character is better 
He also found Kage, the snakes, Bebin, and the snakes. Man, I don't know, like, because assuming Mitsumata controls the snakes, but Bebin controls the snakes. Oh, this is tough. What the fuck? Someone gotta go and see D. So, <laughs> um, these two dudes right here were hiding the whole time. We we sh we saw this. They were hiding the whole time when everything was going down. I can't blame them because it was fucked. Like I'd be hiding with you, right? What did you do? Did you vote? Nah. Uh, no, nah, I think he was the one who was helping Hilly cast the vote. And I think he voted for him. Voted for Boji when um they were deciding who should be king, Dida or Boji. And he wanted to honor Boss's wish, right? Wishes? I think it was either him or him. Either way, you also talked to Dida about, you know, how he was thinking. He was thinking crazy. He was thinking crazy at the beginning of the show. I give you B tier, bro. I'm gonna give you C tier. All right, Oaken. Oaken's the odd one. When he was human, when he wasn't immortal, he was a nice, like he was a good dude. He was just a good dude and he was a good fighter. But then he went all immortal. Listen, this is, this is the thing about tier lists. It's like part of you wants to rate them based on who they were, not who they are. You have to, but I feel like the only way, the right way to do it is to take into consideration that what they did in the past, right? Because they did do what they did. You know what I'm saying? Whether it be good or bad. So you have to take that into consideration. But character wise, you have to take it into consideration where they are now, not who they were. Where, where they are now and where they like how they came from where they were. His immortality, you know, obviously it messed with his mind. I'm, well, as I was reading, apparently it was hinted that Moranjo might have had something to do with that. Which kind of makes sense because Moranjo controlled him at the end, right? Somewhat. Called him at least. Called him to help. For everybody, but you would think that if she really had a... No, I don't think. But he helped his brothers take over that kingdom, the underworld. I gotta respect the hell out of that. I do. I do. But dude is crazy now. He's crazy now. You're B tier, bro. You might be C tier. Like, I mean, because he has no he has no character, personality wise. He did before. He just he just got fucked up. It's not even like his personality changed, just like it did, but like it didn't. His mind changed. I mean his bro, he's I gotta take into consideration that he helped his brothers when it came to taking over the kingdom. I gotta take that into consideration. And it might not be his fault. But he still did a lot of fucked up stuff. You know what I mean? Like, Sheeran. Sheeran? 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 Damn, all these characters. There it is. Sheena, Sheena died protecting Boji. Cause listen, we already knew she she had that combat ability. Cause she was she was what was it? Make it, make it, make it, make it against Boss, right? Cause they fought literally for her love. <laughs> so she and this was bef but this was before Boss took Boji's strength. So she. You know, she was, you know, fighting. She died protecting Boji. And she... I'm not going to say forgave Moranjo, right? But she she showed that she had no ill will toward Moranjo when, she, when Moranjo was in the halfway between living and death or whatever. Saving Kage. Oh, my God. That's kind of goaded shit. It, it's not... It feels weird to put her up here. Because she wasn't on screen a lot, but that's screen time is screen time. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of fucked up. 
I don't want to punish her for like not being in the show that much, but like you didn't really show much. Pause. Wait, what? Anyway. S tier? Bro, protecting Boji the way you did, that has to be goaded. If I'm going to put you in S tier, you got to be goaded. But like, who wouldn't? I'm not going to. You know what? Let me not lower down what she did. I, I might move her. Ah, peace. Interesting one. Ah, peace was loyal to Boji. He was one of the people who voted for Boji to become the king in, uh, in honor of boss. Goes, scraps up with Bebin. So we know he's stronger than Bebin. We know he's stronger than Bebin. Right? Because he bodied his ass. Right? After Bebin was ordered to kill Apis. Apis goes back and is like, all right, daddy, you're dead. Here's Moranjo. Whole character switch up. Right, was like, oh, Moranjo, the one woman who's ever believed in me, and she's the reason I'm this strong. So he had a loyalty to her, a strong loyalty that goes in his eyes. It's like the loyalty to someone that is like that always believed in you and your abilities and your potential is so powerful. So you, but at the end, he couldn't allow Moranjo to kill his friends. And Moranjo didn't calculate for that. <sighs> he's a good fighter, right? He's a good fighter, and he's not malicious. He just felt that he was very... And at the end, he decided to side with his friends and not Moranjo. So I'm not going to... He's not as flip floppy as boss boss is so fucking flip floppy bro because he 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 wanted to make Moranjo happy but he couldn't allow Moranjo to do what she did so what are you doing bro at least a piece was like I thought I could let you I thought I was on your side but I'm not and then he switched King boss the whole time is like yeah I'm with you and then the whole time it's like, I'm not with you. It's like, but then I'm with you, but then I'm not. It's like, granted, he's in the fucked position, but he's been doing fucked up shit. You know what I mean? We'll, we'll get to him. We'll get to him. A peace, man. You might have to go A tier. Because you did, you did side with them at the end. You were a great fighter. And you were just loyal to Moranjo. And that loyalty, I, I, I admire loyalty. I put loyalty so high, bro. Like when, you know, in class, when they talk about what you like, what, which thing you would rather someone be, you know, loyal, loyal, honest, blah, blah, blah. I'm like loyalty, bro. Cause even if they lie to you, you know, it's in their eyes, at least for your best interest, because they're still loyal to you. Someone can be honest with you and still not want the best for you. You know what I mean? That, that's what haters are even if they hate your music like or hate your whatever sometimes it's like bro shut the fuck up and let me do my thing like i might not like this person but i'm not gonna like try to like just hate on them i just might not like the shit that's me being honest but i don't have to be a, i mean you can be honest in the dickhead is what i'm saying but if you're loyal it's like you always you know they're always in your corner no matter what that shit powerful Why are you in here? Because you're a good fighter? Nigga, get your ass down here, bro. <laughs> you didn't do shit, did you? I just can't remember if he's the one who voted and this website isn't telling me. Bro, let me Google this shit, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit, I clicked wrong. Who voted? You know what? Actually, since I'm here, hold on, let me add this to my watch list since I didn't click it. <laughs> do that oh it's already there huh i'm so smart okay who voted for boji only two at the table appears sadeo sandeo which one is that <laughs> sandeo oh there it is oh you fucking 
the hell? Oh, you're up here. You're up here. You're up here. My fault. Sandeo. Sandeo voted for Boji. But that's not fair because the prime minister was also. Like, I think he was helping. He was standing next to Queen Healing, so he couldn't vote. Hold on. Hold on now. His boss. The suggest it, but it's too early in any event. Queen Healing orchestrates the choosing daughter. Yeah, literally tearing up, tearing up his will. Fairy trope, fairy tale trope, as classic as the magic mirror is the wicked mother, stepmother, and well, yeah, the only one problem. Not wicked at all, obviously. All right, all right, they're telling me nothing. I don't know. I, I just can't put you down here just because you didn't get a vote. But shall I put you up here then? Someone, someone's going in D tier, goddammit. All right. So <laughs> y'all don't do. Am I really putting y'all up here, bro? Anyway. But you fought Oaken. But that could have been like a revenge thing. You still a bitch, uh, King Bo. Boss, boss. Stole his son's strength. Granted to him at the time, his son was a stranger. Still fucked up. He's reckless. That's what he is. He's reckless. Because he... It seems like he treated Mirajo as a daughter, right? After he found out what happened, he killed the whole village, whatever. Which they deserve. Of Gyako? Gyakuzu? Whatever. Traveled the world. Did anything for strength. That's what he wanted. But Stoll is... Stole his son's strength, bro. But then he once his son was born, he felt bad, decided to make a kingdom so his uh son would have an easy life. He's so flip-floppy, bro. And then Ronjo brings him back to life in his own son. And he's again, he doesn't know. Like he wants to make Moranjo happy and travel the world with her, but at the same time, he knows he has a loyalty to his um to his kingdom, basically. His friends and family. But he's strong as hell. Like he he has the physical ability. I can't I mean not physical. Accomplishments, right? He's done a lot. Would he have done it if he didn't make that deal? I mean No, because he they did show he was on the brink of death at one point. He got the strength and he was able to win the war. So maybe that was all for the better in the end. Oh. Then at the end, he was like, this is up for me. How do we can fight away? He's so... Like, you got to pick a side, bro. He never picked a side. He was always like, and hey, you're a king. Be decisive. Damn. Anyway, <laughs> sorry. Boji, I mean, we're not going to talk about this, are we? Dida. Dida's interesting. Dida was a bitch at the beginning. Whoops. But what's funny about Dida that I never considered, right? Is that so? Boji is the son of two giants, but he got none of the strength because King Boss stole it from him. You might be seated. Yeah, because like even when Queen Healing, when they want to assassinate Queen Healing, Boss warned, and it was so. I can tell he he was being pulled in both directions. I'll give him a pass for B. I want to put him in C. You're not as bad as King Bo. Anyway, <laughs> Dida. Like who would do? Anyways, Dida. He was a bitch in the beginning. But he had he has the anyways, what I was going to say is that you know Boji, the son of both giants, had none of their strength. Dida is a son his half giant, half healer, which is why I think Boss was able to heal, obviously. Right? Because his mother is a healer or a cleric or whatever. So he's he has he's already stronger than most adults, which is what they mentioned first episode. Doma saying that he beat the captain of whatever it makes sense because he's strong i never like put that together in my head he's yeah he's half giant 
strong as fuck, and he has healing powers. He's a fighter. He he trained, bro. That's the difference. Boji was kind of like doing his own thing. He was he was training because that's how he can dodge and shit. But Dida, he was training hard till calluses were on their hand. They were mentioning till calluses were on his hand. Then Dida. Dida was told that he should be protecting his little brother by Queen Healing. It's funny, Queen Healing, and I think, and apparently that evolved into him looking down on his brother. He's a kid though. He's a kid, and he feels like his brother is he isn't fit for the crown. Thing is, once he got that crown, he ordered everybody, everybody who voted against him to die. Like our piece of shit. Well, maybe not this guy, but a piece. He voted against him. I mean, he voted against him. He ordered a piece to die, ordered Bebin to do it, and then when Domas, when he realized Domas didn't vote for him, he berated him, but still proceeded to use him to kill, assassinate Boji, so there was no threat to the crown. That shit is evil. Granted, he was being manipulated by Miranjo the whole time, but still, bitch moves. What I did respect from him from the very beginning was. Not only his training, but like the fact that he wasn't willing to take shortcuts. Moranjo offered him strength. It was like, and Dido was like, I'm, I'm not going to do that. And what's crazy is that his father's already dead, right? His father was already dead. Dido still didn't want to make that type of shortcut. While his father did want to take that type of shortcut by stealing the strength of his son. That's bitch made. Yeah, bro, you see. Anyways, uh, Dido, by the end... He had a good he had a good mind on him. He had a good mind on him. He might be beat too, bro. Anyways, you're and then you gonna marry the chick who was manipulating you this whole time just cause you felt sad about it, sad for her? Man. Tell about will you marry me? Head ass. A tier. I mean, we're not gonna talk about this, are we? Queen Hilling. Queen Hilling's an interesting one. Stepmother, very stubborn, very mean, crude, but the same, you know, off with your head this, off with your head that. You forgot to brush your teeth, you forgot deodorant, off with your head. When's the last time you got a haircut? Off with your head. Fix your uniform, off with your head. Okoro came back, told the truth, off with your head. But one thing about her is that she always put her kids first she always wanted to protect him she might have not always been nice but she always wanted to protect him everything she did was for him like you know even especially even at the end even at the beginning it seemed like she was willing to like attack boss when he had taken over Dida's body in order to free her son a lot like saying Boji wasn't fit to be king but like because she saw him as a weakling allowing him to go on his adventure because he's still a child but she still you know what's crazy she still has that like bro you're a prince dude you got it like she be speaking you want a woman like this because she be speaking to you like hey this is your title this is who you are you can't just be like anybody but at the same time in the end do what you need to do that's a woman you need man why is she so mean though but she, at, she she's kind hearted she is kind hearted no matter what she is kind hearted the people she be healing, her healing that beast. A tier, A tier. I feel, I feel confident with that. All right, so here, here's kind of how another way my tier lists work. Halfway through, usually by this point, I'm putting keystone characters. I'm going to be putting keystone characters on the left side to kind of cement kind of who what that tier is about right and to make it easier to place people above or below right and they're they probably won't move like very low chance that they move out of that tier so oak is going to be like the b guy like dida and queen healing a tier mitsumata s tier boji goaded like these are the keystone characters Domas. Domas is interesting. This show is so amazing, bro. They be so interesting. Domas. 
trained Boji, was frustrated. Got Boji beat the fuck up. <laughs> cause he, cause you know, he's like, you gotta fight like a king, head ass. Gotta fight like a king. You're not fighting like boss. And in his eyes, you know, boss is the king. They, they've said it in the show. If the king rankings were based solely on strength, king boss would be first. great fighter great fighter right able to parry bosses swing got kicked in the nuts by despa that's fucked up is it despa i keep forgetting that's high that's high that's his name right that's high man let me see Gosh, dang it. that's high okay. remember that what's crazy is he not only didn't vote for boss's will to be carried out and for boji the guy he was training to be king daida brought this up it was like you betrayed your student but from doma's perspective it was probably just for the kingdom right it was for boss in his eyes probably on top of that he he still tried to kill boji pushed him into a pit of hellfire with that being said he did chop off his own hand and then try to kill himself once he saw boji i ain't ever seen someone regret something so much that they saw that what they did it even like be careful it's not like he actually killed boji boji lives and then he tried to kill himself he, he saw boji tried to kill himself immediately he felt so bad but you still did what you did bro but at the end if i'm Cause Dida was a dick in the beginning. Yeah, I'm definitely putting you over boss. I mean like it's not. Even though you could are you really gonna equivalent 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 are really gonna equivalent Oh, it is a word. <laughs> but are you really gonna equate Domus's betrayal to Boji to Boss's betrayal to his unborn son? And then to his other son? And then to half the kingdom half the time? Or his entire kingdom half the time? Again, he felt bad. He trained Hokuro, right? I gotta, I gotta throw that in there. He trained Hokuro. I mean, yeah, cause if I'm, I feel like I gotta put you with Oaken, cause you still fucked up. He was still doing sly shit. It's not like all you were ordered. Agre granted, he talked about how he he feels that people who are royal, like you can't question what they think, bro. You can't question what they say. But if that's the case, then you should have fucking honored boss's request to make Boji the fucking king. But you didn't. Why didn't you? Maybe because Queen Hilling was also like, well, vote. Ah, nah. Because Queen Hilling still held the vote. Or did someone else bring it up? And she just went with it. She tore the will up. She. Had... Yeah, that doesn't that doesn't line up. Why would you go against boss's w wishes if you think what they think shouldn't be questioned? Again, you did chop off your hand because you felt bad. You were really connected, so obviously you were just carrying out orders because you feel like you had to. You he was nice to Boji. He, he was close to boy. I can't put you in C tier. I can't. Damn, you're a good fighter. But I think I piece is better. So I'm not mad about putting you down here. I think I piece is better. Did Gigan also like show that he was kind of equal to Dorsha? Did he also show that? Am I tripping? He bodied like 
the guards, the special guards, the numbered ones. Where's Anne? No, you fool. I don't have Anne in here. Oh my God. All right, that's fix that. Uh, presentation mode. So, anyway, Dorsha. <laughs> What's crazy is that website I was reading didn't even have anything by N in there, even though they had other characters where they just had a brief description, and nothing about what they did. It was Dorsha. I mean, like, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree with that. Because I would have put him S tier, but he also protected Queen Healing GS3, those beasts solo. Essentially gave his life, but Queen Healing saved it. And he was always nice. Apparently, so the way the way it was kind of described was like Dorsha would have been boss's right hand man. And is probably the strongest of the four. But he was too morally upright to just be boss's enforcer so he was appointed as queen healing's bodyguard because he's a soft guy he's a soft guy right but he's a beast of a fighter man he gotta be like at least on par with our piece right and domas i mean i don't know that's kind of weird to say because then i would i don't think bebin is as good a fighter no i think bebin would be equal to domas so, but I think I peace and Dorsha in terms of strength is probably near the top. He also lost an eye and a foot and was still fight helping the four fight Ogre. That's fucking crazy. How are you losing parts of your body that are important? Like he was just being torn apart and he while well, he's being gnawed on like a chicken bone by them dogs, he still told Quinn Hilling to go and I'll be fine. Goaded type shit, man. He's a beast. Always a nice guy. He's always loyal to Queen to Queen Healing because he, he's her body, he's her bodyguard. And even when Boss was like, "Hey, choose your side," he chose Queen Healing because that's he he knew that was right. Go to type shit. This is kind of weird. Like I I typically like want all the tiers to be somewhat balanced or at least thicker in the middle. I'm having a lot of go to characters, but there's a lot of go to characters in the show. Okoro. Fucking D tier. No, I'm just. <laughs> Hokuro. Then he hit hit a one clutch shot. But besides that, what did he really do? Didn't really do anything. There's really no accomplishments. He snitched on Domas and almost got his head cut off if he wasn't saved by Domas. You could say that was a, a brave, like, you know, he felt that he had to report it. Because in his mind, Boji was dead. He felt he felt like he had to. It was the morally correct thing to do. But it was still stupid, you know, at the same time do it because Domas warned him he's like you will get your head chopped off boy and he did it anyway and she said off with your head but even though he saw that Boji Boji was nice to him and he he saw I feel like he saw the potential that Boji had as the king and he was always believing in Boji but he, he, I feel like he was also like I don't know bro but he did try to fight with Domas after it seemed like Domas was telling him to not fight when uh, the underworld was invading. That's one thing Domas did do. He did stand up to the underworld. He was following orders. Trying to kill. That's why you're not C tier, bro. That's why you're not with Boss. Because you did do some very nice things. Did do some good things. Hokuro is just like, he's a nice guy, but that's all he is. You know what I mean? He's a good guy. Well, I mean, if we're going by that, then you should be with the other, just good guys. You know what I mean? But you can fight better than that. Should y'all be in C tier? Yeah, if I'm going to put you up here. See, this is why we have a, you know, Keystone. Cause y'all were hiding, bro. Y'all, they didn't decide to give a message, to, like see what was going on, and give a message to somebody. They were just hiding in 
What was it? Vases and shit? Closets? That's funny as hell, man. Yeah, but I gotta put y'all above. Hey, Hokuro, you're the new keystone. I gotta put y'all below Hokuro. Because Hokuro, just like these guys, are just nice guys, but Hokuro was still, like, putting it on the line. You know what I mean? I respect that. Kage, I mean, are we gonna talk about this? Uh, like, Kage was there. Bo Boji wouldn't be what he is without Kage. Right, because he was sent by Bevan, but uh, you know what? Yeah, yeah, he was sent by Bevan, right? And then you know, like he 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 looked out for Boji from day one. At the end, when he like was like Boji's king, now he probably won't have time for me and left. I'm like, bro, what are you talking about? That was the one time where I was like, bro, really? But at least talk to Boji about it anyway. He like. On top of that, he gave his life, or almost gave his life, saving them from uh, Oaken, when Oaken was about to kill everybody. Boji, well, at least Boji and Despa and the captain, I think. Yeah, he was there since day one. He was, he started off on a bad, like, he was stealing, but, like, that's because he'd been through a lot. His whole family died. He saw his mother's corpse, right? was betrayed over and over again. You can't, I can't hate him for any of it. I can't. He was betrayed over and over again. Or treated like shit. At least. Yeah, he wasn't betrayed over and over again. He was betrayed by that same guy over and over. But he saw him as a father. That's so sad. Died right in front of him. His mother and his father figure, or like who he saw as his father figure, both died in front of him. Well, he saw both their dead bodies. The dad died in front of him. Or what, who he saw as pretty much his dad. Fucked up. Everyone treated him like shit. He has a sad story. And he still believed in Boji with all his heart. Apparently there's there are parallels between Kage and Moranjo where they both believed in somebody. And because of that, they achieved new heights of what they could do. Moranjo was Apis and Kage was Boji. Yeah, I'm not gonna justify it. No. Alright, so that's high. He cool, but he a bitch. I feel like the only reason he could, so he over you're worse than your brother. Listen, but he has the combat abilities. Oh I keep saying combat, but I need to stop thinking of it like I need to think of just accomplishments, what they can do. So if we're talking if we're comparing his combat abilities to Despa's uh Teaching skills, I mean, I still think that spot is up there. Above him. I mean, but that's how I can guide lightning, but only to where Despa tells him to aim. He kicked. He was petty when he kicked Domus in the groin. I think, whatever. He killed the baby because it was war. He also like he was a he was a bitch to Boji. Like I get that he's probably jealous of his brother. How are you jealous of your brother when you're the king? The number two ranked king. What? On top of that, or now the number one. And now it, like when um Boji went to help or get help, and he was talking about, oh yeah, you're looking for me. Death hot. Lying to his ass. And then looked at Boji move and was like, nah, go home, bro. He's a bitch. But he's not malicious. And he is a beast. He listens to his brother, at least. You're definitely not on fucking Dida and King Hill's level. I don't think so. No. Not current Dida, not current King uh, Queen Hilling. Moranjo. Fuck. Okay, Moranjo, you fuck. Moranjo did all this just so her and Boss can walk the earth together. Not to kill the whole kingdom. But that's probably an oversimplification. She probably did it because she also didn't see anyone as a good person until, except King Boss. You know what I mean? But if that's true, then she had to also see our piece like that and realize that like not everyone's bad, bro. And it's not like she tried to be lovers with Boss. Even though they danced together, that was a little... If they're just friends. Anyway.
He just she just loves boss, you know. And she went through a lot. She went through a lot. She did. Would I equate it to Kage? Yeah, cause she was like, she was a uh, fucked up, you know. She she not only lost her mother, she was fucked up by them people who only tried to help. That's fucked. They both lost mothers. Wow, that's another parallel. I just realized. They both lost their mother. Who were killed by the vi the kingdom. The kingdom of Giyak, whatever the fuck. And the kingdom of the light people, whatever. I say light people because that one dude was like, light or whatever he said and then illuminated the field. Anyway. By the way, when are we, I hope season two has that little girl who had the teddy bear. Because she should be... Older now, like at least a teen, right? Maybe King or I don't know. Maybe Boji's age. I don't know. But she had like snake eyes, so you know she's cool. And she helped Kage. If she was in this tier list, I'm not gonna put her in that because they they barely showed her. But if she was in this tier list, she'd probably be S tier. Like season two, if they show her, she's probably S tier. Might be goaded. Saving Kage, is that goaded? Not really. It was kind of easy, right? Wasn't something that no other character could do. You know what I mean? It probably did change the story. But anyway, anyway Moranjo <sighs> did all this for some love. I y'all y'all probably know by now. But like, if you do everything for love, it's like damn everything. Again, she went through a lot, man. She's not... I, I don't know if I should put her in the same as Boss. I, like, granted, she wanted more evil things while Boss still tried to hold her at bay by kind of being, like, talking behind her back and stuff like that. But at the same time, I feel like she went through some bullshit. Granted, I don't know what Boss has gone through in his life. All I know that he made a deal before his son was even born and then took over the body of the other son. And then... That's what Miranjo did. Like, Miranjo just let him, but she was fucked up in the head. Then she realized that Nairo was bad. Nah, you suck, girl. You suck. Like, why, why are we talking about this? She did have a beast killed, though, after she betrayed. But that's because, again, like, in her mind, it was like, these people are good. Everyone else evil. And it's okay for them to die. Even Prince Dido, who she manipulated, just had Boss put into his body. And Boss was like, damn, for real? I can't put you in D though. I can't put you up there with Hoku. She's a beast manipulator though. Is she? She has magic. Is she? Captain. Interesting. S tier. I'm not gonna put you in goaded. Because you didn't really do anything that I would consider goaded. But you were a nice guy. You were the one who reached out to but first of all, you trained to get you like tried to hit first time you saw him. Or when uh King Desha ordered it, you fought Boji and you were like, oh Boji kind of fire. Right? You had that respect. And then when the king lied, or you pointed out the fact that the king lied about who he was, and then you guided them to Despa. Fire. That after all that, still gave him back a, a ride back to their kingdom, even though you knew Boji was being trained by Despa, because Despa mentioned, oh, and you knew De no, you knew King or Prince Boji was a beast because you're the one who helped hire the soldiers, or at least gave the soldiers to Despa. Right? So you knew what Boji was capable of, and you still brought him back. And Despa told you that you both, you and Prince Boji, could not fight Oaken. But you saw what Oaken was doing to them civilians, and you still stepped in and told Boji to go on. It helped out Boji. You're a good fucking guy. You really are.
He's so good. I almost don't want to put you in Miss Tomato. You might be above him. Now, I'm not going to put Mitsumata down with Dida and Queen Healing because they, they have character flaws. Well, Dida had character flaws. Probably, you know, still has them. You know, no one's perfect. Queen Healing has character flaws like that. I wouldn't want... I wouldn't want to put Mitsumata down with them because Mitsumata is genuinely just a good guy. <laughs> but he's way stronger than Hokuro and has accomplished way more by training Boji and whatnot. So I can't, I can't knock Mitsumata down, even though I want to. I, don't, I can't. Captain? Yeah, you're S tier, bro. You're S tier. The I, I added the demon. I was thinking about not adding him. I mean, you don't really... He doesn't have any more... Apparently, his kit... His young version is trapped inside him. Not being tortured, but he's... Trapped inside him. I mean, he just grants wishes. I don't know why I put you in here, bro. But, no, I, I think I put you in here just in case in the future you're different like maybe they dive deeper into your story but right now he just grants wishes and he takes away something that he thinks is evil or whatever anyway no, I, I said Zahir Zuko or Zoku Zoku right Zoku Zuko and that's how I remember his name Zoku um, Poison Mist he, he has that silver tongue bro he has that silver tongue. He's a poison mist type guy. He don't really give a fuck about none. He a bitch. But he's not crazy like King Bo. He's not. Because he was like... Zoku was about to give the crown to Oaken. And Oaken was like, I don't want that shit. So he's like, oh, shit, all right. It's not like he tried to fight. But I mean, neither did these two try to fight. They knew. They, they didn't try to fight King Bo then. So it's not like they're just stupid. I can't put... Like, LOL is basically F tier. I, I don't think I could put you in there. I mean, you're D. I just don't like your character. You haven't really accomplished that much, but you're slick. You're slick. You're very slick. And I gotta respect that, so I'm not gonna put you down here with them. They're not even slick about it. How are you breathing poison, by the way? That's kind of crazy, ain't it? Anyway. And I mean, A tier. Right? You're not S tier, because I feel like we don't know enough about your character. Well, you're very loyal. And you accomplish a lot, but you haven't even accomplished as much as Mitsumara has accomplished. But you're a beast. I'm comfortable with this. I'm comfortable with this. I'm comfortable. All right, I'm probably gonna talk to some people about this list who've also finished the story and I'll probably record that so but if I don't you know shit peace I walk through the valley of the shadow of death and I fear no evil Cause I'm blind to it all